Hello and welcome back to Open of Alice for the Burgundian Conquest. So, we upgraded our government rank last time. And that gives us an extra diplomat. Let's go and find something for him to do. So we should probably improve relations with one of our subjects. Let's go for Flanders here. There we go. It also is really good that we have an extra diplomat because we're about to start uh, integrating people. And then more diplomats means we can integrate more at one time. We can also do other things like we can uh, we can have someone still improving relations with other people while we're integrating. We're not just stuck integrating, not be able to doing it anything. It's all pretty good. We also snagged Savoy in that last war, which is very nice. I'm actually going to decrease their autonomy to increase their unrest in the hopes that we can get them to raise up and then we don't have to uh, defend the province anymore. But that's fine. We are going to gain a little bit less money than usual while we do that, but that's all all alright. Now, I think we can start integrating. So what was that, Brabant? We can start integrating if we want to. Uh, I think we're going to start integrating. I don't think there's any reason not to start integrating. I mean, we do get the extra levies from them, but we also would then be... But otherwise, we also get the extra, like... We get the bonus of actually having our provinces. We get the extra trade. Everything's looking pretty nice in that... Like, we only have 9% of the trade power in here, but a lot of our vassals have trade power. And that would mean that we could have better control of nodes and everything would be looking a lot better. So, let's integrate Brabant. That would lower the opinion of our other subjects by 30 and change the opinion of other HRE members by 25. Now, we're only allied with Austria in the HRE, so that's all okay. We're going to do it. Now, I also want to do Flanders at the same time. This might not work out very well, but I want to do, the, do it anyway, so we're going to do it. I want to get rid of these people so we can get better alliances. Because really, that's what they're costing us a diplo point a month, basically. Because if we want the alliances on top of them, we need to, have, uh, we need to be paying diplo points. So, it's worth integrating. And integration goes fairly quickly. It uses six diplo power a month. Yeah, it might slow down at a, per a point though when we uh, run out of diplo points, but that's all alright. If our leader dies, we'll be in a much better position because we'll get so much more each month. Military power or prestige? We'll lose the prestige. We were almost we were at 99 prestige, so that's pretty good. We're actually only losing half a prestige a year, which means that it's going to stay up there for quite a long time. It gives us a lot of bonuses. Truce of England ended. Now, the thing about England is that they're now allied with Switzerland and Venice, so they have definitely have the naval force, and there's nothing we really want from them unless we can get across the water. So we're going to leave that. Oh, we can do that. You are right, game. We're going to very quickly uh, embargo them and then switch back to the Mamluks. We might declare war on Brittany, but not just yet. So yeah, remember to embargo them, then you're back to the Mamluks. There we go. Issue embargo. Done. We've lost a trade dispute, and now we can improve relations with the Mamluks, who we should get Diplo power from very soon. Should be nice. Integration's just going nicely. Uh, the question is, do we already have the Diplomatic Reputation Advisor, so yeah, I was going to say, do we have any way to make this go quicker, but we don't really, so we'll just wait. I think overextension might make it go slower. I could be completely wrong there, though. So yeah, what are we going to get? We're going to get all of this land is going to be underneath us, and then we get Holland, and we have a lot of the uh, coastline here. Then we pr could probably get into Galway or Friesland. Uh, is that all in the Empire? Friesland is not in the Empire? Oh, it is, a, is, it, it's, it is in the Empire. East Friesland, however, is not. Ah, we wouldn't have a... We don't quite have the sea border with them, though. We're very close, though. Very, very close. So yeah, we'll just... Uh, we pretty much got everything going right now. Annexations and integrations will be finished in five years-ish. Uh, we're still burning off a little bit of aggressive expansion, I think. Yeah, we're burning off a little with France and with Lorraine. So we just have to kind of be chill for a little bit. France has set Brittany as their rival and removed England. Ooh, that's uh, vicious for them. Switzerland declared war on Savoy. All right, fine. I mean, I kind of want the land for ourselves, but, you know, you can't always get what you want here. 
Although it looks like Switzerland don't actually have an army coming round. They just let Savoy win the fight. Are they in two wars? Ah, they might have gone to Mantua first. Oh no, they're Switzerland's army. We could always declare on Switzerland. And that would get us to war with England if we wanted to, but there's no real reason to. Actually, if we declared war in Switzerland, that would be with an HRE. So we'd have to declare war in England, and then that would give us a way to go to war with Switzerland. Which is something that we might want. Uh, our general is dead. Oh no, we need a new one. Uh, where is it? There we go. Ooh, he is a very nice general. Fantastic. We'll put him in charge. There we go. We almost have Lorrainian Separatists, and we almost have Savoy Separatists. Lorraine Separatists are actually going to take a while. Savoy Separatists are soon. French Separatists are also fairly soon. Hmm. Don't like that. That's fine. We can wait. The core construction being finished soon should solve a lot of our problems. Oh, we're almost finished with the Mamluks. We'll get a new mission at the end of that. There we go, and... We got our Diplo points. Cancel uh, improving relations, grab our new mission. Protect against England, have 27 troops. What's our force limit? Ooh, we could do that. Yeah, I'll take that. We'll at least finish it when our integration's finished, which is why I'm not going to do anything about it. I'm just going to say, we'll take it. It'll work. Yeah, I don't like that Savoy is actually losing this fight to Switzerland. I almost want to declare war in England just so I can get in and defend Savoy because I don't want to have the Empire blocking us off here but eh, I guess it will. Not a lot we can do about it. Oh Savoy will seed Piedmont. Yeah they just blocked us off directly. Oh well. We can always take a little bit. We can take something like Dauphine off of uh, France and that would allow us to get into the Papal State and around the corner. Which could work out. Does that mean Genoa is not part of the Empire anymore? It does. Ooh cool. So Genoa's kind of uh, like very good to get because they have a lot of um, they have a lot of what's it called local centers of trade, yeah, which gives a lot of trade power. Okay, states. I haven't looked at these in a while, so we can ignore their demands. We lose loyalty. Oh, the clergy estate lose loyalty, which put them at thirty nine percent. You need forty percent for the bonuses. Okay, and the other one is they gain loyalty. Well, I guess they have to gain loyalty then. Yep, we almost got them at 60 actually, that's uh, fantastic. We almost got the papacy at uh, 100 though. We get something nice like uh, a stability straight out of it. Mercantilism as well could also be really nice. Diplo repu reputation could be very nice. Do not have the modifier Papal Legate. Uh, what's Papal Legate modifier? Um. Triggered modifiers. Hmm. As we we have it though. Oh wait, never mind. You don't meet all the requirements. Um, Papal Legate is already having that effect. Wait a second, but we don't have that. Wait, this must be bugged because we don't have the Papal Legate effect. Oh, maybe it's uh. Maybe it's bugged and it's thinking that any diplomatic reputation is this, which could be it. I want that though, I want my diplomatic reputation. That'd be perfect. We get yearly prestige up by one and that means we actually still gain prestige where we are. It'd be very nice, just keep it very, very high. Gives us morale of armies, gives us yearly legitimacy, gives us better relations. Hmm. What's the ability actually give us? Can I... Yeah, I think we're just going to take the yearly prestige. That's fine. That means we're getting one a year right now, and we're at 78 prestige to start with, so we'll be really high up on prestige for a long time. Also means we'll maybe take another 51 in a little bit. Oh yeah, what's reform desire like? I haven't looked in a while. 86%. Ooh, that's very close to being uh, worth taking. We should also not have any of our forts raised. There we go, we'll just mothball them. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Savoy, three years till they revolt. Cool. We have a free diplomat. Do we have all of our claims on uh, Brittany? Nope, we're missing Maine. We'll grab that. 
I mean, we might as well have claims on the whole thing, because that means that we uh, get reduced uh, aggressive expansion if we actually take it, so that's fine. Is a truce of uh, France? A year? Hmm. They are allied with uh, some people, though, so. Uh, they're allied with Venice, Ferrara, and Scotland. And Venice would probably be the biggest worry there. I'm really not that bothered about taking out the rest of France, apart from just wanting it for ourselves. We had a lot of things, and I just remembered that I never... I was going to check these, but I never actually did. We have a lot of different national decisions that I just want to check out, so... Take a whole bunch of stuff from France, and we could become France. Don't really want to become France, but that's fine. Plutocratic administration. So, we would need to have trade ideas and economic. Nope. Aristocratic and influence. Nope. Uh, religious and diplomatic. Nope, not going to get that. Would give us some cool stuff, though. We want to switch between things, but we don't really. And form the Dutch nation. This is the one that I think we might actually be able to get. So, what do we need? We need... Um, what is it? We need Breda, Zeeland, Holland, Utrecht, Gallery, and Friesland. So Friesland's the one we're not going to be able to get. We also Gallery is a little bit out of the way as well. Utrecht. Where's Utrecht? It would be nice if there was a map mode for this. I think Utrecht's along here somewhere. On the, oh, there it is. So we need to take a couple of provinces from Gallery. Holland we already have. Zeeland we already have. Effectively. Brea we already have. And, yeah, that'd be cool. I would like to be um, part of uh, the Dutch nation. Okay, what do we get for becoming a Dutch nation? All the things are taken out of the Holy Roman Empire. Good. We lose a core on France. Wait. We lose this core on France. Gains core on France. Cede France to France. Oh, I see. So what would happen is we would lose all of the French provinces that we hold if I understand this correctly yeah huh that could be interesting um I'll think about it we're not quite there yet but I think if we had France already as our vassal I would very much consider taking that because then we could uh, like we'd still be in control of France the only problem is that we need to have France and Austria as our vassal for this achievement, so, uh, you know, gotta think about it a little bit. Let's see what exactly we want to do when the time comes. Hmm. Also, when we integrate some of these people, we're gonna need to get rid of some of these forts. They're a little bit, like, they're okay just now, but once we have this land up here, they're gonna be a little bit pointless. Uh, we lost our cast spell against Liege, that's alright. We're gonna completely surround them very soon. That's gonna worry them. Yeah, I wonder, is this part of the Empire, some of the land we're taking? It is. We're going to so get, um, what's it called? Demand unlawful territory. Do you want ship duration up? Uh, durability up? Maybe. Um, nah, we want the next level of military tech. We'll wait on it. Do not want the raw marriage offer with Brittany. We're currently fabricating claims on your territory. Savoy are about to rise up. That's nice. That's what we want. Those heretics were there for a month and now they're gone. Cool. What's that, 1.5 years? Yeah, it gives us plenty of time to get over to Paris. Just so that I don't forget, I'm just going to set Paris to uh, still have its maintenance on. Just so that we can uh, kind of run over there and uh, sit on new moors. And then we can kill the army that spawns there and then go to Paris. Okay, our truce with France should end next month. Don't really want to go to war with them, but... You know, we'll, we'll just kind of... We're fine where we are. It might even be better if we were going to form the Netherlands and that it works the way I think it works. It might be better to give Castile a bunch of French land and then effectively we would only be taking... Like, we'd only be giving a small amount back to France. Hmm. Oh well. We lost some uh, prestige, but we're going to get back one at one a year, so that's all right. We're at negative uh, Diplo power. That's going to slow down the uh, estimated time. 10 prestige, or we get uh, a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, 10 prestige. Clergy estate modifier is gone. The influence is now lower. And the Burgoy's influence is now lower. Does this mean we got some more stuff we need to be doing? Now we could ask for a contribution. 
Uh, we can use stuff again in 10 years. No, so all of our fun stuff we can do is 10 years, pretty much. Um, okay. Anything here that we need? We get the military power for 20 loyalty. That's not going to be good. Yeah, okay. Or we could do the diet, then get the military power. Which would allow us to take the next idea group right now. Almost. Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll call the diet. Then we will... Ooh, we could do all sorts, but we're going to demand military support. If it's back down again, it gives us more, some more military power. Let's get the last claim on Brittany. And no negatives for the amount of claims we have on them. Interesting. I assume you get negatives if you're found out, or if you're not allied. Possibly if you're not allied, they'd just do it. Okay. I wonder if there's actually a French region on the map. So if we go to regions... Alright, so yeah, we would have to cede everything in this region to back to France, which would be all of our land right now. Forming the Netherlands seems like an awful idea. Unless the idea group is so good. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We've kind of expanded into France, which is the work Like, that's the problem here. I guess usually you would don't expand into France and you expand up into the low counties. We finally got the revolt happening, by the way, which uh, they're going to lose severely. We'll head over to New Moors. We still Defender of the Faith? We are. Cool. That's uh, kind of funny, given that we're, uh, like, we did nothing about it. We can get some more tax money. That'd be nice. It's just that we're going to switch from being Catholic soon, so I want to really get these used. Yeah, let's just get our extra tax money. Should give us an extra... Or, yeah, there we go. An extra six ducats a month. I think that's worth it. Legitimacy in the noble estate gains loyalty, or we lose admin points and the noble estate loses loyalty. Well, I really like legitimacy. So, we're going to have to take the admin power hit. There are disloyal estates in your country. This will uh, give us a negative modifier and unrest in the provinces they control. Okay. Assaults will cede Baden to Lorraine, so Lorraine's a little bit larger. Yeah, all of this uh, lowers our... Uh, hmm. Yeah, all of this lowers loyalty. Oh, that gains, inf oh, it gains influence, not loyalty. Okay, so there's nothing we can really do. We just have to kind of live with it. Let's have a look at this unrest that we're getting. We're not really getting that much unrest, all things told. Get the next level of military tech. That gives us military tech. No, military tactics next level. Next level. Okay, it's still fine. Then we can go back to doing an idea group for a level. That's all. All all right. Yeah. Also, having more land means that we're going to have more naval force limit, and we can actually get like a large navy together. Especially given, I think some of this isn't. Some of these are important centers of trade along here. If I remember right. Uh, yeah, we got an important center of trade here that gives you just straight up naval force limit. So that's good. Anything else we need to be doing? Annexation's just going to continue every time we get diplo points. It'll continue up. But it's going to slow down quite significantly because we're doing two at once. I kind of want our ruler to die. I think I might make him a general. We're just going to make a general out of our ruler. Wow, he's a good general. And then we're going to put him in charge. And that means he has a really high chance of dying. Like... Increases his chance if he's in charge of an army, especially if he's in charge of a battle. That will, again, increase his chance of dying. Okay, we got our last claim on Brittany. We have claims on all of Brittany now. Brittany, our ally with Genoa and the Papal State. Okay. Um, we could do this war. No real reason not to, apart from the fact that we're going to have a revolt in 2.9 years. Okay, I kind of want to do the, the war. Yeah. I want to do the war, so anything we can do about this. Now, we're just going to have to have the revolt happen, I think. Nothing we can really do to stop it right now. Okay, so what we'll do is we will dissolve this alliance, and then we'll wait, and then we'll declare the war. We have to wait... What, till the 24th? That's fine. They cancelled military access that I didn't know we had. There we go. 24th. 
ready to declare war. Castile would come in without territorial gains, as would Austria because of our favours. How many favours would we spend? We have 13 favours. Our diplomatic reputation is actually high. Ooh, we could get them in. We just call them in. It costs us 10 favours. Oh, it costs us 10 favours as a flat value. Okay. We have a truce? You have a five year truce now? Oh. Oh well. That's, um. That's disappointing. That really put a downer on my uh, plan to just declare war on them. I guess we'll get some claims on Switzerland here. How about on Piedmont? Just try and uh, get some claims on some things that we might want in the future. Okay, that's unfortunate. That's, uh. A mechanic I was not aware of. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.